Hey, Cedric here. Gonna continue working on the art of the simple stick, okay? This is a stick I made for myself. I went ahead and tried a new resin blend and it's outrageous. It's outrageous. This thing's so heavy. Yesterday I did about uh, 45 minutes worth of uh, the ZFJ, my stick workout with this heavy thing and man, it feels like my shoulders are made out of river rocks stacked on top of each other today. Nice. Super duper hardcore. I'm loving it. Um, so I asked you to work on the stick punch and the crowns, yeah? We worked on those. Worked on getting that movement, getting our body into it just like a punch, right? And you've been working on it, haven't you? Ah, I don't even need to ask. Of course you have. And we also talked about a combination, a long flow combination, that I developed two years ago maybe, a year and a half ago, and it really helps with cementing these movements in a usable way, in a usable combination, rather than just a single movement, it's now being used, okay? So how would that work, right? Slaps the weapon hand out of the way, crowns them. Alright, it's a very useful combo, just back and forth, stick punch, crown, stick punch, crown, and it also, it has a very natural way about it of causing you to utilize the rest of your body in this movement. It really makes you want to get your body behind this, these strikes. <clears throat> so I've been working with, uh, with Vampire's movements, these Escrima movements. Uh, angles of attack, forms, and I've been trying to translate them over where these movements will be something that that we can utilize all the way across the board, alright? So I'm a firm believer in training for multiple attackers in any way possible. If you're solo training, this does not mean you cannot train, because you can. Um, so. We have strikes. I need to mind myself. I've got very limited space in here. We have these strikes, okay? For people who are not directly in front of us. Okay? We've got our straight line punches. So, I was looking at the, uh, the forms of attack. Of, of vampires, and I noticed something that was interesting to me. So, with two-handed uh, stick style, we've got this, okay? So now, we've got this movement, all right? If you miss your forearm, or if you need to be able to strike more quickly, all right? rather than what you would be here where it's got two starts a single movement okay where you can bring this around and strike a target that's over here without even switching hands this movement is very 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 sinuous okay so how it is it's a stick punch but we're going to allow this to pass through gently comes back to the shoulder and back out now to this hand a stick punch, but instead of stopping it, we let it go. I've got to choke up on this stick. I cannot afford to bust something. Now you'll see that we've got the normal stick punch angle comes in. Now when this comes back, it's almost more downward. Do you see that? So, and that translates easily into this. Okay. So, I thought maybe you'd like to work on that. 
whatever size stick you have. All right. Um, even if you have to use a rolled up newspaper, a little bit of tape, rolled up newspaper, you've got something that's going to give you that form, that movement. So I thought you might like to work on that, and I would really encourage you to use my ZFJ stick workout. All right. It's repetitions for a reason. Every movement, every movement, a strike. Even a block is a prelude to a strike, right? Everything should lead you to a strike. Offense, all right? Offense. If you're hitting, you're not getting hit. So, that's all I had today was just a couple of movements that I'd like you to think about. Alright? I would like you to continue working slowly and smoothly on your stick punches, on your crowns, and on this movement. Okay? Now move slow and smooth and feel what your joints are capable of, okay? You always stay smooth. You never, ever fully extend your arms. Never, ever, ever. Miserable advertisements. Just work on this. And this is another movement that is just going to beef up the endurance and strength in your shoulders. But again, move very slowly so that you don't overtax your body, all right? So try that out. And if you feel up to it, try this one. It's a parry, which can move an arm out of the way, and then a strike, okay? You can step into it or just work it as a back and forth. Now this is a stick punch at a diagonal. It blocks and it drops. And if you're uncertain, if you're going to shed a blow, get those fingers out of the way. But for now, let's just work on the movement. Alright? Be good to yourselves. The art of the simple stick. It's simplicity itself. Thank you for coming by. You live free, punch hard, and be good to yourselves because you're worth it and I dig you, okay?